On Monday, Terry Brubaker was making a routine trip to pick up her daughter's prescription at the Hannaford in Gloversville, when suddenly she saw papers floating in the air. I didn't realize it was money at first. I just saw like everything floating in the air, so I stopped on the side of the road, and then I saw $100 bill, $100 bill, $50 bills, $20 bills, and then I'm like, wow, it's... It's a lot of money. So she pulled over to the side of the road and started picking up the money. I'm trying to drop, you know, dodge cars, going in, getting the money, coming back out, just standing on the side of the road. Then she went directly to the Fulton County Sheriff's Office to turn it in. And the woman who lost the money was there filing a report. You know, obviously somebody lost a great amount of money and they had it for a purpose. And she was absolutely right. That woman was Kim Steenberg, the widow of Rich Steenberg, one of the 20 victims of the tragic limo crash in Schoharie. And she was from Mayfield, the same hometown that I'm from. Yes. So that right there explains why she turned it in. It turns out much of that $8,000 was going towards a week-long cruise to the Bahamas for what would have been a group honeymoon with her husband, his brother Axel, and his new wife Amy, who were also in the limo on that fateful October day. Instead, she's going with her sisters and a few close friends, but says she brought along a few small containers with their ashes. I brought them all. They're in my purse. And I know that the sunshine is them, like, giving me this big, warm hug. Now, Kim tells me that she had put the money on the roof of the car and had buckled her niece into her car seat and got distracted. And that's how the money ended up where it did. But she couldn't say enough about how grateful and appreciative she was for Terry turning that money in and tells us this vacation will certainly be bittersweet. Reporting from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Samantha Damasio, News 10, ABC.